as UHS continues to build a new $170 million state-of-the-art wing for the Wilson Hospital. It's also taking steps to create a calm and healing environment with the help of local artists. The Wilson Project will feature four floors with 120 private patient rooms, a twice the size emergency department, new helipad, MRI, and new main entrance facing Main Street in Johnson City. Inside the lobby will be four four foot by six foot paintings by artist Orazio Salati. The panels represent Salati's largest commission to date and builds upon other works he's produced for UHS facilities on the Vestal Parkway. The retired Union Endicott art teacher works with a combination of tar, wax, and paint that he melts and blends together with a blowtorch. These paintings are part of a series inspired by a forest in Quebec. Salati appreciates the hospital chain's commitment to supporting local artists. Yeah, it's awesome. It's an awesome feeling, and I'm very grateful um, to have this opportunity, you know, because I think the work will be there for a number of years after I'm gone. And I was told that you could actually see it from the street because of all the glass um, that's in the lobby area. So it's, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm still kind of sometimes I, I go like that. And, Architect Greg Chanis worked with UHS to put out a request for works from artists in Broome County. Chanis says the hospital has agreed to acquire 140 pieces so far from a number of artists with a goal of having local paintings, prints, or photography in every patient room. He says studies have proven that art can help with the healing process. You got a picture sitting in a, in a patient room with not much to look at. Uh, it gives people something to focus on, it gives them hope, um, you know, takes them to maybe a different place. And not only for the patient, but also the visitors and, you know, family members that are there and the staff as well. You know, it's all kind of a complete package. Janice encourages other businesses and institutions with the means to do so to use local art in their interior design. He says that by supporting the local art community, they're strengthening quality of life issues that help recruit and retain employees. The lobby and first three floors of the new Wilson Hospital are expected to open sometime in the spring of next year.